What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another clothing guide. Another clothing guide? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton and Trend. Guys, welcome back to another video. What's good? Listen, first things first, I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys for all the support and a big thanks for getting to 100k followers. Like that to me is like a crazy mad achievement. I remember when I was celebrating back in the day when I had, I think it was a 900 subscriber video. I was so excited. I couldn't even wait to get to a thousand. I've done like a 900 subscribers video. Flash forward, here we are 100k subscribers. I will be doing a video coming up real soon to do a big thank you for all of you guys, for all the support that you've given, all of your comments, everything that's been happening. I'll be doing a video soon to talking about that. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a Canada Goose versus a Moose Knuckles video because I know a lot of people would, would want to know the differences between the Moose Knuckles and the Can Canada Goose. I want to know my thoughts and opinions on which ones are the better jackets out of the two. Anyone that's looking for a Moose, Moose Knuckles, we've got 35% off. I've got a code in the description box below. And the retailer is also an official stockist as well, so it's all 100% genuine. Negotiate discounts with these retailers just for our followers because I know a lot of people don't like paying RRP, just like me. We all we all want to make a saving. We all want to get a little bit, a little bit of discount. Check out our website. Every week we're updating it with the latest deals, the latest sales, new codes that are coming out. I've got a launches page where we show you all the latest trainer releases that are coming out every single week. A lot of followers getting in touch saying they found so many deals and stuff on there. So I think it will be worth checking it out. Okay, let's get on with it. This is the Moose Knuckles 3Q Parker jacket. I've also got a Canada Goose Carson jacket here, which I'm going to show you. If you're looking for one for winter, this video might be helpful for you. So let me show you the differences. The Moose Knuckles Parker jackets or the Moose Knuckles jackets in general are, in my opinion, superior quality to Canada Goose. The jacket is made from a 74% cotton and 26% nylon outer construction. It's very thick, it's very well made. This renders the jacket water resistant and also wind resistant higher water resistance than it does the Canada Goose. Now the Canada Goose jacket, a lot of people think that although it's an extreme weather conditions jacket, I'm not saying it's bad in the rain, but if there was tor torrential downpour, and I've been stuck in torrential downpour, and what happens is the jacket soaks in the water. It does seep into the fabric. In saying that, once you get home and dry your Canada Goose, the water does deplete from the jacket and it, it, it goes back to normal. So that's all good, but I'm saying in the rain, it's not gonna handle it as well as you might expect it to. The Moose Knuckles now, however, has a higher level Level of water resistance and not only that but it has a very very good wind resistance capability within the jacket as well. The Moose Knuckles has a um, 650 down fill insulation whilst the Canada Goose has a 600, 625 down fill insulation. So there's more down inside this jacket, it's a little bit more puffy, warmer than the Canada Goose. It deals with up to minus 40 degrees temperatures whilst the Canada Goose, um, a similar parka like the, like the Carson or the Emery will deal with a minus 25 degrees temperature so this can handle a lot more colder temperatures than the Canada Goose. Within this jacket there's a thin kind of membrane material which is downproof. It's like on the Canada Goose when you start getting feathers popping out through the jacket that can be really really annoying right. A lot of followers messaging me say I've just bought my Canada Goose and a lot of feathers are sometimes coming out of the jacket. This is something that Canada Goose say is part of the natural part of the jacket that the, sometimes the feathers will pop out. The Moose Knuckles it's got a downproof baffle insulation inside a thin layer membrane which means we never get the down poke through the material anywhere on the jackets. Also, it's using YKK zippers and a thick zip line, which is also freeze proof and also rust proof as well. Moose Knuckles say when you wear this jacket that you can simply just wear a t-shirt underneath or you could also wear some light knitwear because it's that warm. You can actually control the temperature of the heat with this jacket by just unzipping the zips on the cuff. So that can open up like that and that's gonna let, let in a little bit, a bit of airflow. And not only that, but it's gonna let out a little bit of heat from the jacket. Also, on the side, you've got some zips here, which can open up, and I, I can already feel that the heat now is releasing from the jacket. So I can actually control by opening and playing with the zip, I can control quite easily the airflow of this jacket. Priced at 935 pounds, this jacket is quite expensive. But to be honest with you, I think for the quality of this jacket and the fact that you could probably keep this jacket for a very, very, very long time, I think personally, this could be a very good investment for the winter time. Some of the downsides of the Moose Knuckles. For me personally, is the Moose Knuckles branding is just not as exclusive or as luxurious 
luxurious as the Canada Goose, in my opinion. I think a lot of the reasons why people, including myself, do like the Canada Goose is because it carries that certain prestige. They've just done very, very well in terms of their branding and given that kind of exclusive luxurious appeal, more so than the Moose Knuckles, even though the Moose Knuckles is a superior jacket. The second thing I would say is that the secondhand market for Moose Knuckles doesn't hold up as strong as the Canada Goose. So whereas I could pick up a Canada Goose, let's say, for example, the Carson now is like £1,050, um, which is a lot of money. I could probably sell that for more like maybe seven, six fifty. I could probably sell it for between six fifty and seven hundred, maybe in three years' time. Especially if I have the wool version and I keep the wool as well, and I keep all the tags and I keep everything, then actually that that jacket will hold its value really well. Here in the UK, it doesn't. It does. It, the brand strength is not as strong as Canada Goose, so you could probably lose quite a lot of value in your moose knuckles. I, in my opinion, compared to the Canada the goose right so just to quickly plug my Instagram selling page where I sell quite a lot of jackets on there, including Canada Goose, including Montclair, which I've got a couple of pieces here. On my selling page, Hoxton's Wardrobe, members only page, I, not everyone gets accepted on there. It's mainly for followers really, and I do really good prices on clothing as well. So if you're looking for new, near new, or kind of really good condition clothing, then you check out check out my Instagram page, Hoxton's Wardrobe. Montclair Meyer for sale, that's coming up, that's gonna be coming up real soon. Canada Goose, Windham, um, which is super rare in this camo car that will be coming up real soon as well. So if you're a long time follower, then I'll accept you on there, okay? Right, plug over. Let's move to the Canada Goose Carson jacket. 